What is it about alcohol that makes society tick? Anyone who has had enough of it knows the answer to this. It is the way that makes you feel. It's that warm, fuzzy feeling and the unknown sense of fearlessness. Most people in mainstream society would have no idea what life would be like without it. But 100 years ago, people were unbelievably fighting to get rid of it. The man with the spade in this picture is in the process of breaking the barrels of what looks like malt liquor and spilling it on the street. The men working with him have a large task ahead of them. This iconic photo, taken by an unknown photographer, is only telling of how the U.S. government tried to regulate alcohol after the ratification of the 18th Amendment. This picture was more than likely taken at or after an alcohol raid, seeing as the year is 1924, five years after the amendment was ratified. Many governments in history have tried to abolish the manufacture, sale, and consumption of alcohol. The key word is tried, as most of the laws established in enacting prohibition have failed miserably. The temperance movement in the United States was pushing the legislation through in their belief that alcohol was corrupting people. Many politicians also took up the opportunity to get a photo opportunity to show that they were behind prohibition, like this man, the Philadelphia Director of Public Safety, Smedley Butler. The rest of the men were doing their actual job, and maybe were going to enjoy a confiscated barrel after the job was done. The reality that came about was ironic, that prohibition was prohibited. Over the 13 years that prohibition was enforced in the United States, there were more incidents of underground brewing, speakeasies, and a subtle movement towards regulation over prohibition, because people love their beer too much. This is why stupidity really not only defines this picture, but also the idea of prohibition as a whole. To add, one can go back to this picture and see how many barrels of alcohol there were on that truck. That amount of alcohol could maybe supply one popular bar or pub for about two weeks. The government probably spent more on labor to get rid of alcohol than they spent on cleaning up after people who drank too much of it. The temperance movement, which led the campaign for this noble experiment, prevailed once to bring about prohibition and create a moral and cleaner society. However, prohibition made more average people criminals than ever. By 1932, 75% of all inmates were there for alcohol and drug offenses, as well as the number of federal convicts increased 561%. Ironically, the root of all evil was the one thing that kept the moral, noble experiment from existing any longer, and the government was more willing to let people have their vice than to lose money to keep people away from it.